God, we are giving you all the glory, all the honor, all adoration, praise, all thanks for all the previous spiritual breakfast and all the things you have done in our lives. And I want to thank you in advance for what you are going to do today. And I will turn all the glory unto God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. And I say thank you for what you have done. And as the Father, you will use me mightily this morning to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, man. We are still on the spiritual, spiritual breakfast, a program that prepares you for a daily blessings and favor. And we are still on the topic, let there be light. And our text is, our text was, text is taken from Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, I declare that declare like command and I prophesy, that the mandate of heaven upon my life, that the power is invested in me. Let there be light in your life. Let there be light to your family. Let there be light to your marriage. Let there be light to your home. Let there be light in your business. Let there be light in ministry. Let there be light in every area of your life. Let there be light in every department of your life. I declare I command in the name of the Lord. I declare I command by the mandate of every power and the powers invested in me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, man. I declare I, declare I command and I prophesy by the mandate of every power and the power invested in me. That the Almighty God will be merciful unto you, will compassionate unto you, and be gracious unto you this morning. And I command that, that the visit, that visitation of darkness, that visitation of darkness troubling your family, trouble your family, creating storms everywhere, creating problems everywhere. I declare I command that visitation of that visitation of darkness over your life, over you and your family. I command it to scatter, and I command it to be destroyed by fire, and I command it to gather no more forever, forever in the name of Jesus. I command that visitation of darkness to expire. I command it to cease, and I command all the storms to be still. I command all the rage to be over in your life and your family in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare man. Let the grand command and the professor by the money of heaven and the land, the powers invested in me. That your heavens be open. I command your heavens to be open. Rimo Shakando, Rimo Kora Kimando, Rimo Shakanda Rakanda. In case you are hearing me, your heavens are be short. I, I declare that I command by the mandate of heaven upon my land, the power of rest in me. I command your heavens to be open. Rimo Shikanda Rakanda, Ramahando, Rimo Kora Kimando, Shikamando Pondo. And that air that finish work of the enemy, that all going works around me, that plan of the enemy concerning you. Whatever the devil has ordained concerning you, whatever the 
whatever assignment concerning that finished work, uh, that finished work, that ongoing work, that plan of enemy, I command it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rimo Shakando, Rimo Rokondo, Rikanda Ramahaki Mando, Rimo Kondo, and every structure of Satan has been assigned against you, every structure of Satan has been assigned against you, every structure of Satan has been built against you, that Satanic roadblock, that Satanic roadblock uh, that will, uh, has caused you not to have breakthrough, that Satanic roadblock, that Satanic roadblock, uh, that obstruction, that obstacle that has hindered you from breakthrough, I command them be, be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. I command them be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. I command the gate crashers, uh, the all the gatekeepers to be scattered. I command the wind of fire, the deadly wind of the Lord, to blow them to ashes. We must shakanda, we must kono rikanda, rikanda, we must shikanda, no, we must kono. I command them be roasted to ashes in the name of Jesus, and I decree they shall gather no more. That our obstruction, that obstacle, that obstacle, that obstruction, that shadow block shall be no more in the name of Jesus. I command your ways to open. I command your highways of destiny to be open. I command no more obstruction against you in the mighty name of Jesus. We can no we must shakanda, we must handle. I command by the mind of heaven upon the power invested in me that whatever you will, you will do that will cause your heavens to close up. Whatever you will do henceforth that will cause your heaven to open will never happen. That decree will not come to pass. We must shock and we must conduct. The grace to obey God, the grace to do what God asks you to do, will come upon you right now and will remain with you. In that name of Jesus, we must shock and we must conduct. We can't have a hacking man, no, we must have a candle, we must have a candle. Ramo Hakim Mando, Rimo Kona Kim Mando Shikanda, and I declare that command by the money of heaven upon and the power of me that the grace to obey the words of God, obey the commandments of God, to obey God completely in and out, to obey Him as a token of love, to obey Him when it is good, when it is bad, to obey Him in season and out season. Receive that grace right now, receive that grace right now, receive that grace now and begin to obey God so that you can reap the blessings of God because every blessing of God. As a condition, to obey the condition for blessings of God, receive the grace right now. Rimo shakanda la kanda, rikando rimo rokondo rimo shikanda rimo kondo, rikama na hakim bando rimo kona kanda. And every power that we have signed against you to cause you not to obey God, right? to destroy you not to obey God, right? I command that powers be bound, that right? I command that demons be bound, that right? I declare that command that demon to that demon. The Lord rebuke you, you demon powers. The Lord rebuke you, demon powers. You don't rebuke you demon powers. I rebuke in the name of the Lord. I command you bound in the name of the and I command you to scatter to the abyss. I command you to scatter to the abyss. In the name of Jesus, I bind you with chains of fire, feathers of fire, and I cast you to the abyss. And I command the stones of fire to crush and grind you to ashes. In the name of Jesus, we can do it. From now on, I decree you will obey God. In you will obey God effortlessly in the mighty name of Jesus. Rambo Shakando Rimokurakanda Rikando Rimoshikando Rimokono Rimokurakamano Rimokurakanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, is any the way and serving? They shall eat their day, they shall live their days in prosperity and their days in pleasure. If they obey and serve me, they will live their days in prosperity and their years to pleasure. I pray once again that the grace to obey and serve God. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. So that you can live your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. In the name of Jesus, I decree me. And I decree by the mandate of heaven upon and the powers invested me in the name of Jesus. We are still on James 4, 7. So, say, James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We have discovered at length how to resist the devil and he will flee. Today I want to talk about what many do, what many, what many people have done and they are still doing that have caused their bondage and captivity to straighten. Because when the man's heaven is closed, the devil puts him under bondage and captivity. As a matter of fact, the heaven, the devil wants the heavens of every man to close so that he can cage a person. Because he knows once your heavens are closed, once you obey God, obey, when, once you 
who offend God and disobey Him, your heavens are shut. And He has the unlimited, He has the unlimited authority to put you in bondage and captivity. We have done so many things. What we are discussing today, what we have done to strengthen the bondage and strengthen the hands of Satan against us. That is non-payment of time. The non-payment of time is so powerful. So it's so, it's so terrible. Non-payment of time is so terrible that God does not joke with it. <clears throat> the Almighty God does not joke with His time. Listening to me is an obligation. Is a demand you must obey. God is not begging you to pay tight. You do not do God a favor to pay tight. It's an obligation. He deserves it. He demands it for blessing you. <clears throat> he demands it for blessing you. Malachi 3, chapter 3, verse 8 to 12 is explicit on the consequence of not paying tight. And that, that is close heavens. When your heavens are closed, your prayers do not go beyond your roof. When you are praying, your prayer do not go beyond the roof. It does not get to heaven. It does not even get to the heavenlies. It does not even get to the heavenlies. It, go, it does not go beyond the roof. It hits your roof and come back to you. The roof of your house. And return back to you. The power to resist the devil is paralyzed. Whether you use the name of Jesus or you use the blood of Jesus, your prayers are not answered. Your prayers do not go anywhere. You just level devil will be laughing at you. Whatever devils and the powers of darkness are, they will be laughing you to scorn. And say, what, who is it decreeing to die? Who does he want to die when he has disobeyed God? Even if you use that, like I said, even if you use the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus, it does not work. Why? Because you have disobeyed the owner of the blood and the name. The owner of the word, the, the, the owner of the blood and the name is the word. He is the word of God that transformed into flesh. He is the word of God. He created the heavens and the earth by his word. When you do not pay time, you have sinned against God and the prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto God. You are a disobedient child of God. You cannot disobey God's word and expect the same God to bless and favor you. It is impossible. If you are not grateful to the, to, for the if you are not grateful to God for the little things, the little blessings He has given you, how can you expect Him to bless you with great things? You want to lend to nations. And he has blessed you with a thousand naira, you eat the hundred naira. He has blessed you with a hundred thousand, you eat the hundred thousand and you eat the ten thousand. And you say, God understand, he will continue to bless you. It never happens that way. If you are a father and your son or your child disobey you, you cannot bless that child. The same thing goes with God. Payment of tithes is an obligation to unto God. And it is our way of showing gratefulness to God for his favors and blessings. Whoever is preaching, uh, the preaching that the tithe, whoever is preaching that the payment of tithe is speaking, whoever is pre preaching against no payment of tithe, is speaking from the pit of hell. He does not hear from God. At least he does not hear from the God I serve. He does not hear from the Almighty God who is telling me daily. And this title is important. If you ever want to be who God has ordained you to be, you must ask God for forgiveness this morning. And promise never again to disobey His word as a whole, which payment of time is part of. And so, wherever you, you are, I want you to go on your knees. If you know you have refused, you have not been paying your tithe as a when due, you have not been paying correctly, you have been paying partial. Partial payment of tithe is as good as non-payment of tithe. And you know you have been disobeying God, I want you to go on your knees. If you know that you have never been, you have never given your life to Christ, that's, not, that's number one, that you have not even laid the foundation. Go on your knees and ask God for mercy, confess your sin and ask Him to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. 
that serve his son Jesus as a Lord and Savior and Master. And you also, the second one, you know you have been loving, pay your tithe as I went do. Go on your knees and ask God to forgive you because you are a sinner. And God will not hear your voice. God will not hear your prayers. Go on your knees right now and confess to God and ask God that you will never sin against him. Do that quickly, do that quickly. I want to make the last decree. Rebo Shakando, Rebo Korakanda. Rebo Mahando, Rebo Korakimano Shakanda, Rebo Kondo. For as many that are giving their life to you and are asking for forgiveness, and those who have not been paying their time correctly, and those who have not been paying at all, and they have opened their mouth to confess and ask for forgiveness, ask that Father, you will forgive them. And you will forgive them and cleanse them from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Rimo Kano, Rimo Kono, Rikano, Shikano, Rimo Korakanda, Rimo Kano, Rimo Korakimano, Shikamano, Korakanda. In the name of Jesus, I find that you forgive them. In the name of Jesus, I declare that command and I declare that I prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon my life. And by the powers of invested in me that as you obey God, henceforth concerning his word and concerning the payment of your tithe, of your tithe, that the Almighty God will not only open the heavens unto you, you open these good treasures, the treasures of heaven unto you, and bless you, bless the works of your hand, and bless you beyond measure. Bless your marriage, bless your business, bless your ministry, bless every area of your life. And bless it mightily in the name of Jesus. Raymo Shakano, Rimokono Rakimano, Rikama Hakimano, Rimokono Rakano, Shikamano, Rikono Rakanda. And as you go ahead and begin to pay your time correctly, if you have asked for God for forgiveness, you begin to pay your right time correctly. I ask that you will see the blessings of God. I decree that God will show you his good treasure. God will open the heavens and bless you in such a way that you will say, God, this is too much. This is my prayer for you this morning, and I decree you shall be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ramu Shakando Rimo Kondo, Brima Makindo Shakando Rimo Kurakanda. In the name of Jesus, and every message I preached, I want to let you know that every message I preached is on YouTube. Every word message I preached on spiritual breakfast is on YouTube. If you go to Victory in Jesus Pentecostal Church of God on YouTube, you'll see all the video messages I preached. They're on YouTube, and you can assess them and listen to them. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'll see you same time tomorrow, tomorrow morning on Facebook at 5 a.m. Nigeria time. I want you to, if this program is blessing you, forward it to all your friends and your enemies. Let them also confess their sins to God and be born again. And they shall be of no problems to you. God bless you and God bless you mightily. As you go out today, go in the might and blessings of God. Go under open heavens and begin to succeed where you have faith. Every way you are feeling, you will succeed. Whatever you are going, they reject you, they will accept you. God will bless you and bless the workers of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree you, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. i see you same time tomorrow, 5 a.m. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen.